things on your list this year. This is the thing that will bring most cheer. She's pale like the snow, red hair like Rudolph's nose, and we'll tell you right here if you didn't already know. Lizzie's Flop, this is the best show for the holidays this year. All right. This is Jared Eisenstadt. Hello. He's my stepfather. You know, you would think after 17 years, you'd know who the oh. f was. So, if you couldn't tell by his last name, Jared Eisenstadt is Jewish. Hello again. And tonight, we are going to celebrate Hanukkah! Uh, so, we're going to make latkes. So, is this something that should be moving? No, go get the latke stuff. The latkes? I don't know what the latke stuff is. I think you you got the latke stuff. I, we bought latke stuff. Do I know where it is? Okay, Jared. So explain to us one thing. Yes. Or maybe a couple things. Here we go. What is Hanukkah? Hanukkah is also called the Festival of Lights. And it is the celebration of when the Jews were able to throw out the Babylonian captors who had captured the temple and reconsecrate the temple and they had only one day of oil for the eternal light which is called the near town need and so they had one day of oil but it lasted for eight which gave them enough time to reconsecrate other oils so they could keep the eternal flame going and what's the what, and i am fairly sure that is mostly correct what's the relevance of the eternal flame <laughs> that's the symbol of uh that god is always around you have an eternal flame an eternal light it's just a reminder that god is always there Got it. So it's important to keep that lit. It's very important, yes. And every temple to this day has it. Every temple to this day has it. And that's why on a menorah there are how many places? There are a total of nine candles. There's one that you use to light all the others. So that's why there's an every day you light one and then add a different to get a total of eight. Cool. And then with the ninth one which is used to light all the other ones. So and how many times did you win Jeopardy? I won four times. Four times. But I did make the tournament of champions, even though I got killed. <laughs> I didn't realize how tall you were. Uh, I'm not that tall. You're pretty tall. You're taller than me. Oh, well, you yeah, know, please. Look at I have to crank up on the on the tripod oh, well, for you. Don't get dirty. Alaka is a type of potato pancake or fritter. Yes. Jewish cuisine traditionally prepared to celebrate Hanukkah. Yes. Wow. Okay. Let yeah. me see these potato yeah. pancakes. In a medium bowl, beat two large eggs with a fork until blended. Add two cups of cold water and mix well. Stir in contents of both bags and let stand five to ten minutes. Do how do we make these? Like, what do you fry the pancakes so on both you, sides until they're golden brown? No, it's it, yeah, it's kind of like pan frying them. You put them in a, a little bit of oil till they're golden brown, and then you flip them and then you eat them, and they go very good with sour cream and uh, applesauce. Okay, my parents are insane people, and my mom has some pots in here that I have seen since the day I was brought home from the hospital, and that is just. Oh. Crazy. So when I saw this, I didn't realize y'all were making them from bags. There's another. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm off camera here. We can also make them in like this. There we go. And we'll make. We won't make them all at once. But this yeah. would be fine. This yeah, is, we'll use that one because it's clean. It's clean. And you know, this is really our home defense system too. Okay, you, know, you have to talk louder than mom if you want to be heard. Here's your mother now. Let's, let's get her into the shot. What are we making? We're a Norwegian food called latkes. <laughs> hey! So, let's see if I can read these directions. No, I already read them. Pour them oh. into the bowl. Put them both in, correct? Yes. And right. then I'll tell you the right way to make it. Wait, what are you doing with potatoes? Well, in the old days before you could buy a oh. mix. Hold on, hold for ice. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. What's the deal with these potatoes? Well, in the old, I don't know what your mother's doing. In the doing. old days, you grate them. That's correct. You add an egg to them, onions to them, and then you fry them. Is the olden days the 90s? But this is, uh, Jared wasn't raised in the olden days. Jared was raised in the 50s. Where no, every, born in the 50s. Born in the 50s. Raised, raised in, in the, the 60s. 60s. Where they use this kind. Yeah, and for my mother, this would have been a very, very, very complex meal to make. We were thinking about making t-shirts that said, Feed Jared, and wearing <laughs> them here because we joke about how my mom boils everything, and then we get here, and I realize Jared's the oh. boiling culprit. This I, guy boils everything all at the same time. I but do. But it's not a soup. It's not a soup. It's, they're all separate. It's a wonderful thing. <laughs> all right, now what are you doing? I'm cutting 
You're breaking an egg. It's YouTube, you gotta tell me every step, bro. Oh, okay. So I broke, as we would say, egg number A. And now, now I'm gonna do egg number two. And I know I used A and two differently. So there. Oh no! I'm throwing shade there, or whatever, or whatever it is you kids are saying. All right, so I'm mixing this. And as I said, uh, and to be perfectly fair, this is really also about the limit of my cooking skills. Before I met Lizzie's mom, there were three main food groups. The first main food group was drive through The second main, main food group was microwave. And the third and probably healthiest food group was canned tuna. For me, this is oat cuisine. I gotta get something with water. Now, I'm mixing this till it's uniform. To me, it looks like I put too much water in, but I don't know. Did you follow the instructions? I did, okay. exactly. Here, I'll mix it a little bit. Uh, she'll mix it a little because, you know, she's good. <laughs> mm. What do you mean till it's uniform? What is, what is not working about it for you? Uh, to me, and this is, the, I'm not basing this on anything other than my, uh, my bad childhood memories of my mom making this stuff. Yeah. To me, it feels like it's a little too loose, but that it has to sit for 10 minutes, so that might be why. Should we be heating up what we're gonna fry it in? Uh, we can, but I think we don't have to do that yet because it won't take very long to heat the oil. Yeah, okay, so now we just don't now we guess. It. Now, we're, now we're done and we just gotta talk for shit. You know, we gotta talk for five to ten See, minutes. you wasted everything off camera. What did I tell you? Save it for the camera. I've saved it all for the camera. No, you spent it. I you said, spent every last dime, uh, Jared. Well, speaking of every last dime, there is really nothing to leave you. <laughs> so we did change the will. Sorry about that, kid. What's one of your favorite things about being Jewish? The best thing about being Jewish is the sense of humor. There are three things in my mind that you need to be a good Jewish person. The first is a sense of humor. The second is a sense of guilt. And the third is you really have to like Chinese food. Because every Jew likes Chinese food. And if you if you live in any place where there's any kind of Jewish population, a Jewish Christmas is very traditional. Right. It's, you go uh, see a movie and eat Chinese food afterwards. Unless you're very religious, which you can't go to Chinese because it's not kosher and all that stuff. Right. But if you're kind of a more secularized, kind of typical American Jew, that is a very, very common experience. I set a timer for 10 minutes. Oh, you did? Okay, thanks. Yeah. I'll get the oil. Babe. Yo! Uh-oh. That's your wedding ring. No, that's not mine. I that's just old one. My old one? Oh, where was that? It was in the Christmas box. Did oh, you just throw it away? Uh, no, it I lost... It fell off of him and we had to buy him I a new one. I lost a lot of weight, so it fell off. So. Cute. Mom, what's your favorite part about being Jewish? Mm -hmm. Oh, here's the chicken bone. No, that's the turkey bone. I'm turkey bone. Yeah, the wishbone from yesterday. Why are you dodging the, the question? <laughs> um, well, we're not really Jewish. Oh, now she tells me. Yes. I'm just gonna cut up some of these. Hey, put down the knife again. <laughs> Who would have thought I'd have to say that twice I, in one day? I actually really like going to temple. I do not like going to Chinese food. Yes, I know. Um, I don't like Chinese food either. Well, you are no Jewish daughter of mine. And I don't have any guilt. None. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you, you know, the Chinese food. The other one, maybe not so much. I have none guilt. And, and you don't have a good Jewish sense of humor. No, I have a Norwegian sense of humor. Would you consider yourself a Bubsonite? He is my grand dog. You know, if you want, you can also do things like grate onions and put those in the mix. I can't grate onions because we don't have any goggles. Oh, well, I, I could do that because, you know. No, we, we have gloves, gloves you can put on your eyes. Yeah, so you have eye gloves? No, we have hand gloves. No. And if you put them on your hands, you won't, you won't need the goggles. Uh, I, that's not how that works. I don't think that's how that works. But, yeah. Mom, there's like four bell peppers. Well, I know. She likes okay. the bell pepper. Do you have your oil going? I do not. I was just about to start it when someone interrupted us. This may be the first time since maybe 1970 that I've made latkes. At the time, I did not know that the the abbreviation for teaspoon and tablespoon were different. Oh, okay. So I said use a teaspoon, which is smaller. Yeah. And I used a tablespoon. Well, good for you. Well, it, how did you make it through so many rounds of Jeopardy? Well, they never asked any tablespoon questions. That's okay. don't put we away the sex toys, candles, babe. Candles. We're our tradition, Jared and I. We have a tradition of doing these candles every year, and they you set them so they all come on at five o'clock or dusk. 
Um, so we do that. I'll go and buy that to buy a bunch more batteries. But we have to get a lot of batteries for them. Yes. And it's it, it's an arduous task. Oh, uh, it's it's about the most mechanical thing I am capable of but doing. But you have to turn them all on one by one so that that's how they go on forever. So I'll, have to buy, I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. Okay, you better get right on that. I shall indeed. You know, because like most good married men, I live in fear of my wife. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people live in fear of your wife. Because I'm so scary. Okay, there you go. All right. Oh. Right. Okay. Drop oh. it in. All right, so do you think this is hot enough? Yeah, look at it. It's bubbling a little bit. Is it? Huh? Yeah, do you know how you can tell? No. You can just do a little wash this. This, watch him. He's exiting. Oh, very good. That bitch is hot. You know, you would Where'd you learn that? Uh, I don't know. From me. It's way too hot, babe. Turn it down. Go. Get another spoon. Get another spoon. Yeah. Get another little spoon. Another little spoon. Turn it down, though. To low. Yeah, it's all Well, smoky. it's very, very hot, and it will uh, burn you. Okay, now just dump it in there. And then wash your hands, Jerry. He's never made these before. Well, it's been about... Hurry up, and you have to put them all in. He's never made these before. I made, them, I made them in 1970. Well, I love how you prep this. How long do you cook them for? It says cook until golden brown and then flip over. Now, if they're really good, oh, it's because... We just put that one in. Get out of here, mind your own business. Make sure you doesn't get it burned. Get out of here, mind your own business. You're doing great, Jared. I'm telling you. I'm gonna take a bath. Yeah, take a bath. And as you as you might remember, I'm actually very good with oil. One of my many jobs as a kid is I worked as a short order cook in a Chinese restaurant, the deep fryer. That was my experience as a, I did that for in high school. So I could earn money to take a trip to Europe. Some 17 year old schmo with my friend, Pete. And uh, we backpacked throughout here. It was lovely. That's pretty G. Well, they smell good. Yeah. Oh, that's hot. This put this oh, pan okay. is hot, bro. Yeah. Use the pot holder. You're a pot holder. Here. Okay. Thank I'll you. be back in a, in an hour for my call. <laughs> what are you doing in a half hour, mom? Taking a bath. Okay. Like I always do every day, whether I need one or not. When these are done, we'll throw some on there. More paper towel, and then we're. It's so exciting. Uh-oh. What's the matter? I saw Joe in the background. Oh, Joe. Joe? Joe refuses to vlog. Uh, if Lizzie hadn't blackmailed me with those pictures, I wouldn't be on this either. We gotta get back to Hanukkah. This huh. is Vlogmas. Oh, vlog. We gotta oh, focus should, on the holiday. It should be Vlogucha. Vlogucha? No, oh. we had a better one. Oh, well, Vlonica. Yeah. Vlonica. Vlonica sounds like a hot ass girl. Oh, it does? Yes. Veronica. And that would be with a C-H or an H. So what's the deal with that? Right. The interchanging of the Well, H because in the Jewish you can say <laughs> or you can say <laughs> and a <laughs> is C-H and a <laughs> is H. It's a lot. So you can spell Hanukkah C-H-A-N-U-K-A-H yeah. or H-A-N-U-K-A-H. Oh, that bitch is golden brown. That yeah, is golden you brown. You know what these look like? Vodkas. No, chicken nuggets. Oh. <laughs> these ones hella look like chicken nuggets, yeah, it brown. Yeah, looks good. All right. Should I take those girls out? Well, you we have to take the both sides of brown. Like I that. think, really? And that's what it's like. Like that? It's uh, hence the direction. Those seem almost burnt. It says. No, look at this picture. Those look like these girls. No, okay. not like that. But these the other, but the other these side. girls just got back from Tahiti. But the other side are. Look. Sort of, right, no, yeah. they're good. All right, take them off. Is Babs racist? It, I thought it was like Brooklyn. Uh, I feel like I was sounding like, what's the name? You, I'm doing it like my, I got acrylic you, nails. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to her. You sound like you're trying to do a bad Rosie Perez. No. <laughs> I'm doing, what's the name? I don't know who, what's the name? What's is. the name? Holly Quinn. Joe, what's her name? Who? That girl from uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, the actress. Yeah. I know you mean. Robbie. Yes, Margot Robbie. Right. Margot Robbie. Is that how she sounded? No. She said, she said, yeah. That's how she sounds like this. My acting coach said, pretend like you got Three inch long wet acrylic nails. Uh, she was supposed to be from New Jersey. Oh. And that's like a whole nother world. My bad. Most people know that Hanukkah is really not a particularly important holiday. Oh, it's not. It's what's the high one? The, the Rosh Hashanah? Big, Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year, Yom Kippur. Those are the two biggest holidays. They're called the high holidays. The next probably biggest one in my mind is probably Passover, Passover. which is spring. The main reason I think Hanukkah is, uh, has any kind of traction 
is relative it's relatively near Christmas and yeah. they can sell more stuff to more people right I think that's I mean that's the primary reason I think it's here's my question why does it float around on the date well it's because Hanukkah is like Easter where it's not the same day every year that is correct and why is Easter not the same day every year Dude, I don't oh. know I'm not religious I don't I don't all I like, so literally you, Easter for me is bunnies bro do you know what uh, the Last Supper was yeah, before Christ died. Right. Do you know mm -hmm. what, and he had his homies there, and he turned his and you know body what? into bread and his blood into wine. No. Or you, the reverse. Uh, he turned the, the he, food that they he, were eating into he, his he, body, and then he gave them the wine that became his blood. We'll go with that. But is you, it close? No. Oh. Uh, you're talking about... Take this, all of you, and drink, for this is the new or the everlasting. Uh, this is... Uh, I'm like, I'm close. The Last Supper was a part of Passover. It was called a Seder. Oh. So that was... And, so the reason Easter is, it's dependent on when Passover is, because it's part of that. Got it. So that's why. Because they're all Abrahamic religions. Sure, that's true. And Judaism came first. That's right. We're number one. And then Christianity, and then Islam. That is correct. You're absolutely correct. And it's correct. all based off of Abraham when God asked him to sacrifice his son to prove his faith. That is, that's correct. Right? Abraham, Isaac, the, the founding fathers of Judaism, and are who are prophets in those other religions. Right. But they're not considered. But they're not the Messiah. They're not considered. And y'all are still waiting for the Messiah. We're still waiting for the Messiah. We have a reservation. Yes. And that's the that's the variant on all of the Abrahamic on all three Abrahamic religions, correct? Uh, I am definitely not a comparative religion scholar. That, that is one of the differences, yes. But Hanukkah is not relative to Passover. No. Passover. So why does Hanukkah's date? Well, all Jewish all Jewish uh, holidays, in the, well, we use what's called the Georgian calendar, which is not based on the lunar calendar. So the Hebrew calendar is, is based, every month is essentially 30 days, no matter what. Everyone is essentially 30 days. So that doesn't line up with the Western right. calendar, some days, some months have 31, some have 28, and every and every so often, actually, on the, on the Hebrew calendar, they may have to add an extra month to, to catch up with the extra days that are left. So it changes a lot because of that. Got it. Yes. That makes a lot more sense, actually. Yep. Do you want to show your audience a hack? Oh my god. This but is you know, my mom. Uh, you have to have a toaster for this. Girl, you looking good. Won't you back that ass up? Uh, you look fine. Look at Mama. Won't you back <laughs> that ass up? Murphy, are you okay? Oh, he's no, he's he... scared. You want me to take care of you, little buddy? Man up, Murph. Did you just tell him to man up? Mm -hmm. He's a mountain boy now in a showbiz family. No, that's right. What's this? Oh, garbage. Put this away. Put this away. Well, we're not done cooking there, babe. Okay. I'm, sh I'm still chefing. Please. Okay. Let him chef. Let me chef. Let the man chef. I gotta be chefing. And what what is what is Yiddish? What what makes up Yiddish? Y Yiddish is. Uh, see, the problem is I always have I always want to make up a fake answer that sounds authoritative. You're so annoying. But Yiddish is really just a dialect of German. Okay. Um, though interestingly, it is typically written in Hebrew, but the the oral language is. Uh, a dialect of German, that's all. And it was uh, uh, spoken by, again, mostly Eastern European Jews throughout Eastern that. Europe. Okay, do you understand German? No, I know a few words of Yiddish, but not a lot. My parents used to speak Yiddish when they didn't want us to know what we were talking about. Oh, those are Golden Brown, kid. Golden Brown! That's right. What's the rest of that song? Golden Brown, that's Golden Brown. Not, no, no, wrong song. That's I, 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 not I, I, Wait, should, should well, this I be on the vlog? No. I thought you were watching them. You and your bread warming is the boringest thing that's ever happened to this channel. Shouldn't shouldn't that be, you know. What's wrong with boring? Show the potties that sometimes it doesn't work out. Oh, you're gonna burn some bread? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. not me. Jared, throw that away. No. No. no, no, just scrape it. no? Well, whatever. I have to get permission uh, from your mother, which of course is what I call the home office. I call your mother the home office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Here, have that. See? Up. It's fine. Yes. You guys are sick. Thoughts and prayers for Jared this Hanukkah season. Yes. All right, my camera rolled out, my card's full, and I gotta dump some shit before I can delete anything on it. So, we're trying it on the phone. So, this is, you know, show business. We're, we're just such novices. And it must go on. It must go on. Okay. Now, babe. 
Try a latka. Yum. Yeah. Scale of one to ten. Oops. <laughs> First of all, they're very I'm, messy. I would say nine. They're delicious. They're really good. Oh, really good. Where do we get that stuff? You've had it since the 70s. Probably. From the Jewish store. I think we did get it from a Jewish store. Oh my God, they're divine. Um, first of all, screw you, James. You're grating too hard. <laughs> and secondly, these are really good. I'd say at least a nine. A nine. nine. We agree. All right, I'm going to try mine now. All right, babe. Oh. Up or go. Good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd give it. Because I've had the lobster rolls and I know what that scored. I'd give it an 8.5 in comparison to the lobster rolls. Wow. You know, lobster roll, another famous Jewish dish. Is it really? No. It's a, it's Jared, a... we're done here. Happy Hanukkah. It's unkosher. You can't have lobster. <laughs> oh, Jared, yes. wish your audience a happy Hanukkah. Uh, as we would say in New York, happy Hanukkah. <laughs> You, so much luck I just came out of your mouth. <laughs> I know, there's some on your shirt. I'm so sorry. No, 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 there's no. no. Happy Hanukkah. Have a Merry Christmas. A Happy New Year. Be live, live and be well. Enjoy. Have another piece of luck. Oh, I love you, Jared. You're oh. very sweet. So instead of see you next Tuesday, we'll say see you next Veronica. See you next Veronica.